Welcome to Business. My name is Daryl Kwal. The World Bank has settled on Ghana as a model country to assess the impact of the effectiveness of fresh grants to developing countries. According to senior economist Aurelien Cruz, this is part of an analysis to measure the impact of its support to developing countries in fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. He spoke at the Maiden Presidential Business Summit. The government of Ghana must be doing something right because the World Bank has chosen Ghana as a yardstick to evaluate the efficacy of support to developing countries. Senior economist at the World Bank, Aurelie Cruz, revealed this at the Maiden Presidential Business Summit. That we are embarking on a new analytical task for which Ghana has been selected as a pilot bank-wide, namely a country climate development report. This is important because the crisis for all the hardship it has brought has also presented us with an opportunity to build back better. And indeed, we believe that uh, COVID-19 recovery measures can play a role in making the recovery more resilient and sustainable and in allowing Ghana to leapfrog to the frontier in terms of its development path. And again, this effort will have to be facilitated by the state, but driven uh, to a large extent by the private sector. Meanwhile, President Ekufuado has reiterated government's commitment to intensify dialogues with the private sector to increase public-private partnerships. Speaking at the same event, he assured that the outcome of the deliberations will be prioritized to provide actionable solutions to support the development of the country. The strong rebound in growth, low inflation rates, the stable currency, the strong reserve position, and FDI flows are clear indications of our collective desire to restore the Ghanaian economy onto a path of sustained stability and growth. We will continue to strengthen and deepen our engagement with the private sector towards realizing this goal. Ladies and gentlemen, the thematic areas and sectors selected for deliberations during this two-day presidential business summit have been carefully chosen to ensure that the outcome would be an actionable business compact with clear commitments from both government and private sector. Vice President of the Ghana National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Victoria Haja, has charged government to reassess strategies and projects critical to the revival of the economy.